economy. Let me see. All right. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh boy, let me see. How y'all are? I'm glad for you to see me. Who said that? I'm glad for you to see me. I guarantee you it's funny. Nothing in there. Hmm. That's good. I'm gonna stew some corn and green onion for you all today and make some hominy, lye hominy and chili. Right now, I'm going to make you a nice, nice hominy and chili casserole. <laughs> it is, I guarantee it's gonna be good. Put this there right there, and I got to put olive oil on the bottom of that thing. Hey y'all, today we're going to learn a few good cooking skills from a legend, Mr. Justin Wilson. So here we go, y'all sit back and enjoy. You ain't seen cooking like this, I guarantee you. It says, uh, it's got this all mixed up. It says, tablespoonful of olive oil. That's all I need. <laughs> A tablespoonful of olive oil. There you go, baby. That ain't quite a tablespoonful. Believe it or not, it's not. But that's a tablespoonful. Not heaping, just a tablespoonful. And then, we're gonna turn the fire on there and kind of move that around a little bit. If I can do that, I'll be just right. Let's see if I get the right one this time. Yes, I did. <laughs> I put that on a, a medium low fire, run it around where it gets all over the bottom of that skillet, frying pan, whatever you want to call it, pot. And there's something to put this in. Got it. Now, this recipe say one sixteen ounce of hominy. Drain it. You got to drain all the water off of it there. We got that. But it don't go in there first, no. What we're gonna do right now is put the green onion in there and let them kind of sizzle around a little bit. Get in there. Green onion. Got it all the first time. That ain't bad. And I got some bell pepper. I got to put in there to help them green onion out. You know how that is. Put some bell pepper on that. Mm, 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 mm. Got all that too. I'm getting good at that. You know it. Put that to the side so I can get to that little bit of that garlic powder. I'm gonna let that. I have to stir that around a little bit so it'll get to cooking. And it'll cook. I mean. I never ever got that down in, in Crowley where I used to live, Crowley, Louisiana, and Southwest Louisiana. There's a fella had a, a kind of a butcher and a fish market there. And it, he put a fella to work for him, and he was good. He worked hard. He really did. And uh, after he'd been there about a month and proved he could work, the man that hired him said, I want to tell you something, boy. It's all right with me, but you either got to get you a longer apron in the front or stop stealing such long fish, steal shorter fish, you hear me? <laughs> Green onion, this is dry parsley. Dry parsley is good. I want that to kind of get a little more juice in it before I put that in there. It's doing all right, it's getting juice. This is a cup. Actually, it's a, oh, I'd say this is a half a cup of dried parsley. Now, that's equivalent to a cup and a half. Now, I think that's a half a cup. So I'm going to quit putting that dried parsley in there. And I got some, some dried mint I'm going to put in. But let me stir that dried parsley down into this thing that we got here. Mm-hmm. Smell that? I smell it. Make all the noise you want to go in to do it. Now into that I'm gonna put some dried mint. 
and then I'm going to put a, about a half a teaspoon full of garlic powder. Now, this is what you call easy cooking. You can do all this without having to cut up some of the stuff. When you chop parsley, you're in good shape. I can tell you that, but most people don't know how to chop parsley. And I don't throw the stems away, I use the whole damn thing. Never get it over there and say, you ought not to beat those beautiful pots. I say, I got to get that stuff off the spoon. Now, into this, I'm going to put uh, some rooster sauce on Worcestershire right here. That's what this is, Worcestershire sauce. Put it in there. And I also, too, I got to put some uh, good wine in in just a few minutes. And I get this way, mm, I can smell that real good. Now we're going to put the this nice dry harmony in there, like this. Get out of there. Cut it all. Cut every bit of it. Didn't get all that wood to sauce, but got it now. And I stir this into that. And good. Beginning to look pretty, believe it or not. I love hominy. Hominy and chili are two good things that go together, and I'm putting these together right now in just a few minutes. And I got salt and pepper to taste. It says here's the pepper, cayenne pepper is what I use. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> that's plenty. We don't need any more of that. And that's not much. That's about a quarter of a teaspoonful of what that is. Now into this. Let me see what I can put into this. Wine, garlic powder, got it all in there. And wine in a medium-sized pot and cook over medium fire, stir it until the onion and peppers are tender. You see, now I gotta put some salt in this too. And I know about how much goes in there. About a, a two teaspoons. Not quite two teaspoons. And this is a slow teaspoon, it ain't a full teaspoon. And neither is this one. That's enough salt in there. Put that over there. And stir. Mm-hmm. Now, what I'm going to do with that, I got to cook that a little while till it gets better, but it's nearly ready right now. Put this underneath here, over here where I can see it in case I need to look again. You know how it is. I'm not all that smart. So most of that juice is gone, see? Then I'm going to stir in some chili and pour it into a... Now let's go ahead and just stir it in good, boy. Oh, man. That's... Y'all smell that? I do. Ooh, wee. Ay, ay, ay. Got to push you aside. Don't mean to hurt you. Got to open the oven, all right? 350 degrees hominy and chili baked in a 350 degree oven. Now, if that's not all right. Now, yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's the chili and, and hominy. Let me see. All right. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, boy. Let me see.